Do we even expect anything positive from any particular media outlet back in the UK, most especially anything to do with the Sussexers? Personally, nope. Because trust me, you, they are so much well paid just to trash on them. Very well paid just to ensure that at the end of the day, no single word has been uttered to do with the so-called working royals if it is something that they've done that is bad and needs to be addressed. That's one thing they are so much well paid for. So when they come about host morning shows and their own shows, inviting people, having a discussion, just speaking about the star success and what's on and what's not, trust me, you personally, I always kind of just expect anything. Because them trashing on the success is one thing that they are so much good at doing. And there's one thing they need to understand. Harry and Meghan are never going to wine and dine with their abusers. Because we understand whenever they bring about such things, they've always wanted so long just to have an interview with the Sussexes, but never gotten that chance. So they think by doing so, probably they'll get to hear a word from them, but no. That's one thing Harry and Meghan have no time for. That's nonsense that they can't even entertain. They can continue spreading their lies and rumors and negative things as long as they have their own audience and that's probably the what makes them happy. Let them do so because I wasn't surprised when you come about this video clip done by the ITV speaking about Harry was cut off in June 2020 following the fake investigation that was the title. And we know very well that Harry was cut off at the end of March if I'm not wrong. Not in June. And uh, the things are to why they were cut off. We got to hear them or we got to saw them yesterday having been well stated by the Byline Times after their thorough investigations. It's just that they're kind of trying to bring about something to cover up the so-called working royals not knowing that some of us out here can be fooled. Some of us out here can't be fooled at all because we know what happened all throughout. We've learned a lot through the docuseries, through the memoir spare, through the interview done with Oprah. And all throughout, we've learned a lot. And they can't kind of just blackmail any of us. Kindly just allow me to take you through a short article and you have a chance, an opportunity to also leave your comments and thoughts of what you think about the same. It was fascinating to watch a British and an American media outlet overwhelming ignored Byline Times exclusive reporting on the Duke and Duchess of Sussex's 2020 exit from the UK and the reason behind the monarchy's attempt to bring Harry and Meghan to hell. Keep in mind, uh, with the British newspapers and tabloids, no royal detail is uh, usually left unturned, especially when it comes to publicly storing the Sussexes. They have been churning out old stories for weeks because of the lack of royal gossip. Yet the Mail, the Telegraph, the Mirror, the Times, even the Guardian, none of them will touch this. So imagine my surprise when ITV actually covered it and added their own exclusive reporting. You know, like we don't expect them to address it, but either way, let's see. Because they think by doing so, probably they're, guy, they're, gaining, they're gaining followers and clicks. And yes, that is one thing. Like they are always out here doing it, knowing very well that at the end of it all, we're going to get clicks. Because we know very well that they themselves made it so clear that hating on the Duke and Duchess of Sussex is a $1 million industry. We just keep on flooding people and flooding people and flooding people. And we also have seen all throughout, they pay their bills through just trashing on the Sussexes. And personally, that is, that, that is one thing I don't advocate for. Because why trash on somebody who has done nothing wrong to you? You can just be out here spreading positivity and still be able to earn, still be able to kind of pay your bills. But the UK press have used that field so bad. And day in, day out, them trashing and just bringing about negativity over the star success isn't a problem to them. It's like they find joy and peace in doing so. Personally, I'm not surprised at all. For the past four years, the parlors has done everything it can to convince the British public that Harry and Meghan had a tantrum over nothing and abandoned their royal duty. 
and I shall therefore be punished by a sadistic royal family forever. That's by their own perspective. Harry and Meghan never abandoned their royal duties. It's because they could no longer sit in a toxic environment. It's because they could no longer be close to any particular toxic relative. Those people made their lives miserable. And the fact that they were never appreciated, the fact that they were never acknowledged with whatever they did, trust me, you, even if it were you, you wouldn't have been able to continue staying there. Because imagine to that point whereby Duchess Meghan is way much heavily pregnant and still be able to be sent on royal duties and never complained even a single bit. They never saw that. And yesterday, I remember doing here a podcast with speaking about Duchess Meghan was already a made-up royal, even before joining them. Looking at the things that she did over the years before even meeting up with Harry. Trust me, it will just make you have the old reasons to say how they treated Duchess Meghan. She didn't deserve it. And the fact that she stayed there for some time, she is truly a strong woman. She fought the battle and it got to that point whereby she's suicidal and she was like, you know what, I'm not staying here anymore. Because she wasn't ready to kind of just lose herself for the sake of kind of just the so-called thing monarchy and royal. And that's why they made the decision they made for the sake of their own mental health, for the sake of their own peace, for the sake of their own health, emotions and all that. But the royal family to date doesn't see that. The UK press to date can't stop trashing on them. IT's version on the timelines is that in April 2020, Harry sought to sue the son and he cited the name Christian Jones, Prince William's press secretary, as someone involved in the bribery scene with Dan Wharton. By June 2020, the Met Police and the Palace complicated the investigations into Harry's accusations. And according to them, they say that they found nothing. But at least we are out here with the truth. It was then in June that the parlors cut off the Sussexes financially, according to ITV's timeline. But that's not true. The Sussexes were cut off from royal protection at the end of March 2020. That's why they had to take the freedom flight on Tyler Perry's private plane and accept Tyler Perry's offer of security and a part and the place to stay. While I appreciate Byline and ITV's attempt to explain the timelines and what was happening behind the scenes, I still don't believe we have anywhere near and the full picture of what really happened. The fact that ITV kind of tried to speak about this, probably we're kind of, you know what, we're not surprised. They did it probably for clicks. It's not that maybe they were doing it genuinely. We don't know. Cause So when we see kind of thing, we're like, mm, okay, probably they're trying, if I'm to say to be precise. But personally, I don't find it as a, as a shock because these people are just something else on another level per my perspective. And trust me, you, I love whatever byline time stars. Because ever since the first investigation that they brought about to do with Dan Wharton, personally can't just keep on trusting them because they are busy out here just wanting to ensure that they've just brought everything in public and ashamed the ones who need to. Up to date, we know who are those people always on the front line on trashing and just kind of supporting Harry and Meghan strolling by the media. We know, and it's out here in public. Personally, I don't find it as a shock, as a surprise. Let's see where all this goes. But from my own perspective, I love the fact that Harry and Meghan made their way out at the moment living their best life, doing what is right and what is expected of them at their own pace and at their, at their humble space. I don't know what are some of your thoughts over this. Kindly just leave your comments down below. And that was our today's podcast. And thank you so much for tuning in. And see you guys in our next podcast.